Welcome guys. Uh, today I'm really happy to share with you uh, phase three of Let's Build a Fish Room. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I'm Bobby G. Let's talk. So if you followed my channel at all, or if you followed the series, you would remember that uh, this was phase one here, these two walls. And uh, there's a lot of videos on, you know, on the air system that I installed and uh, a lot of other, uh, you know, design uh, decisions that I had to make. Um, and then around here, uh, behind me there is, uh, was phase two and uh, it's basically a bunch of uh, fry, fry racks up top or, or uh, fry tanks up top and then some grow outs uh, on the bottom with my uh, filing cabinets there for storage. And the part of the project that I'm talking about today will be this wall here. Now, if you have watched previous videos, you know that this wall used to have a TV, uh, entertainment unit and uh, you know all that fun stuff this used to be a family room actually if you haven't seen any of my other videos and so I've uh, very recently painted the whole floor uh, which was nice because there were sections unpainted that I couldn't get at before and then uh, I've painted this wall behind me right here and then if we go over uh, back uh, back into uh, this area here uh, you might remember uh, through that door right there used to be the small fish room the, the original fish room that I made um, but back in this area here is where the air pump is and it's about a closet size um, space but it's all painted now and who knows what that will become. Um, but follow along and I'll show you some of the uh, progress as I go through it. So you can see here, uh, <clears throat> I've got all the wood cut and uh, painted. I painted it outside in the garage, cut it all outside. And it's just a matter of uh, throwing some screws in it. There's one of my helpers right there. Um, that garbage pail's full of uh, uh, the cross pieces. Uh, they're all painted. I found uh, it's difficult. It's easier to paint beforehand than after. Um, that way I'm not, you don't have to be reaching upside down to try to paint the underside of, of all this stuff. I've got the uh, front and back um, uprights put together. And uh, as you can see here, this is the back side. Uh, that board at the bottom really didn't need to be painted because you won't see it anyways, but that's just the way I am. And this will be the front uh, facing. And then all that I need to do is, uh, is put the spacers in between the two. Now uh, the spacers don't carry any of the weight, um, but of course it's important that they're all the same, which, which they are. I cut them on my uh, chop saw. Uh, those pieces aren't the spacers, but in this pail I've got the spacers. So I'll show you what that looks like when I've got that uh, assembled. And uh, I'm gonna run a bit of that uh, PVC drainage down here very soon before I put it together since it'll be easier to work on then. I've gone ahead and uh, done a couple things. I put these uh, corner braces in just to keep the back square and uh, I put a couple of the spacers and I still have to uh, to put the rest of the spacers in but it gave me uh, gave me a chance to stand it up in place 
uh, and see where everything was. But you can see here I've, I've completed the plumbing and uh, you know obviously that this is uh, sloped for drainage and each of these nipples uh, or barbed fittings uh, will take a, a normal size uh, hose, 5 8 ID hose, 3 quarter inch OD or you know something like that and uh, I'm going to build some uh, PVC overflows and so that will accomplish uh, that part of the project uh, you'll see here I've got a stub out uh, through the wall already uh, with this uh, threaded fitting uh, that threads right onto here so that's gone really well uh, the next step for me before I stand it back up is I got to cut this airline and put a couple uh, a couple rows across there uh, to feed the uh, uh, this one upper row of tanks and the lower row. Uh, the top shelf uh, is going to have uh, uh, products and, and other stuff that I sell. So I think it's going to look pretty good. Here I've got the uh, airline done. Uh, in one of the previous videos, uh, I can't remember if it was uh, Let's Build a Fish Room 1 or 2. Uh, I showed the uh, more detail on you know what I did to install this but anyways here it is uh, I've got a bunch of outlets already pre-drilled uh, much easier to do that now before the rack or the aquariums are in place and uh, I'm gonna put the uh, the cross pieces in this while it's laying down and then I'll stand it up and and we'll move on to the next part of the project. It's getting closer and closer all the time to being able to use it. Uh, you can see here too, I've brought down the, uh, brought down the uh, aquariums, uh, five of them, uh, with the help of a, a good friend. So let's carry on with the project. Well, the rack's in place here, you can see. Uh, I'm going to call this job complete and uh, you know I've shown you a little bit of the drainage and uh, I am going to use uh, half inch styrofoam on the shelves this time and what I did with that was just use some duct tape on the edges to protect the edges so they don't get uh, you know marked up and whatever makes the uh, the room look consistent um, on the bottom here, I've still got some shims for adjustment, but I want to wait till there's at least a couple aquariums in place right here, uh, because if you know with that extra weight, it might settle in the center a bit more and uh, give me a more accurate um, way to level the, the whole rack. I mean, it is level, you know, basically, but I do want to just cover that last step. Uh, so it's been a fun project. Uh, it's really hard, uh, you know, doing a project like this because I still am only one person uh, and, you know, and to maintain the rest of the fish room. But I keep telling myself as soon as the room's done, it'll be easy. Well, we'll see if that comes true. Uh, so in conclusion, I hope you've enjoyed the Let's Build a Fish Room series. Uh, if I have any more fish room builds to do, it won't be in this house. Uh, I'm going to have to move into something larger, which I don't see happening. So uh, I hope that this is uh, all the space that I need. And uh, you know, you'll if you follow me along, you'll you'll see what my uh, next direction is in going with the hobby. Um, super fun! It's a super exciting hobby. Uh, super addictive. Anyway, enough with the supers. Uh, if you like the video, I, it, you know, if you've gained something from it, please like, share, and subscribe. And as, as always, feed your passion. Take the plunge.